78% of teens own a cell phone. Last year, I became a part of that statistic. I use my phone every day, but it's a constant reminder of the digital words that hurt me. Hurt me. Everyone just wants to hurt me. I joined social media to be a part of something bigger, but I ended up feeling smaller. My feed is filled with comments. Most come from the sharp tongue of a stranger. A stranger who feels stronger on the other side of a screen. On the other side of a screen. Someone is writing under an anonymous account. Someone is trying to hide who they are to make me feel worthless. All I did was post a blog, and someone felt the need to take what I wrote and to twist it into something I didn't mean. That's not what I meant. That's not what I meant. I didn't really mean to call her that, but everyone knows it. Everyone knows it. It spread like wildfire through the texts that people were sending to each other. I've never felt so alone. I've never felt so alone. I accepted friend requests of people who weren't even my friends. I didn't know who they were. It seemed harmless until he started messaging me. I thought he was my friend. He wasn't my friend. I was scared. I was scared. Once I got the first hateful message, they just wouldn't stop. People who harass me are hiding behind an anonymous username. How do I know it's not my closest friend? I feel helpless. I feel helpless. I didn't think my comment would hurt her that much. I didn't understand how I could influence my entire school to lose respect for her. It's too late. I can't take it back. It's out there forever. What I said, what I regret, it won't 